Welcome to Renee Marie's Stroke of Luck. I'm Renee Marie. We have an awesome so show today. Um, this individual is so inspirational to her to, when she tells her story and her life um, calling. And uh, Judy had connected us, um, and we'll go into the whole story in a little bit. But you know, God has a plan for everything, and He and the way that things manifest and 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 evolve uh, it's just it, it blows my mind and and I actually know I have a relationship with God but he still blows my mind when these kind of things like happen so it's it's gonna be um, a really enlightening show that's why it was called enlightening the uh, sh the uh, title to, to today's show enlightenment was called um, but let me um, you know first I want to say happy holidays to everybody. Um, this is really a magical time of year where family and friends and loved ones and, and really we believe that you should do for others now. Um, it's a time to give, not so much receive. Um, you know, I, I saw on Facebook something about, um, you know, that this is really a happy time of year and um, it is it's a it's a really happy joyous time of year but there are those people that find um, depression in this time of year and they find it troublesome because they've lost someone or they find it hard so if you could find it within your heart to be there for somebody even if it's a smile even if it's to share you know to listen to somebody who needs somebody but make it a point this this holiday season to to be there for somebody it really is important the other day i was invited to the north um what is it called the north shore um yes uh hospital, hospital. um stroke coordinating um uh, support group um to to speak and be a guest speaker and it really I I so much love to listen and be there for those that have suffered a stroke and aphasia because I really can remember what it felt like to be back in that hospital and not to and that unknown fear that you have and your whole world is ripped apart and and you're sitting there and 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 each we went around the table when I first got there and each um, stroke survivor and each person that was there told their story there was there was stroke survivors there were aides there there were family members there was a woman there who had previously lost her husband um, a, a while ago um, but it was sometimes when you just listen to them and you give them hope and that's really what my passion is is to go back to them and say you know i've been where you are and look where i am right so that really is the gift of um being there for people so um so I'm, thank you michelle for making it happen 
Um, thank you, Leslie. Um, thank you to all of them. Uh, we really look forward to supporting you and to to help you and to work with you. And actually, I'm going to go back once again. And, and uh, Leslie was so excited about, you know, the hope I brought that we're going to do a presentation called the tool belt. Oh. The tool belt is like... What do you need on your tool belt to be to be successful in recovery, and um, and uh, you know and and I'm really working it through in my brain to be to to really be interactive with. So you met them. Leslie at that meeting. Yes, Leslie was the assistant coordinator that found okay. Michelle. Michelle is a nurse nurse practitioner. Am I correct? Right. Yes, nurse practitioner from North Shore who who actually um, I think she. Um, she arranged this <clears throat> support stroke support group. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you to everybody. It really was an honor, a blessing to to be a part of that. Um, and it brings light to me. It brings light to me as well as to you for me to go back in that moment and really remember what it feels like and to know my purpose, not to get lost in the everyday lifestyle um, that most of us we do we have to get into we ha a routine we have to get into a routine and we have to to um to you know financially support ourselves that's what it comes down to but i heard i saw something on facebook as well and it said um you know when at the end of your life are they going to remember what you did if you were if you were on time for work and now they're going to remember I what you did seriously doubt that they're going to remember <laughs> they're going to remember what you did what you accomplished what you accomplished and what you did for other people so so thank you so much i, I hope i look forward to doing it for many 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 other um organizations and hospitals and uh, i was just saying that you know i'm really thinking about um, I think you were invited purpose. to Good Sam to do that. Too. Yes, and we're going to do Good Sam next. So anyway, so thank you so much. Um, next to me is uh, my co-host and uh, the, uh, the, 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 the backbone to <laughs> the Stroke of Luck internet TV show who's driven and really <clears throat> she, she has a passion for our foundation and our cause. So hi, Julie. Hi, Good how morning. are you? How are you? I'm good. Good, good. It's been a busy week. Yes, it's been a busy. Why has it been a busy week? Oh, well. because you. Oh, yeah, you've been. <laughs> Judy's been partying all oh, week. Judy, oh, I gotta move my my thing. But Judy's been partying. So uh, Judy. I had so many parties. I actually had two in one day, at the watermill. I know. So I had twelve to. Four and six to eleven or something. <laughs> and I had to do my work in between. It was not easy. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> so, and then we have our special guest. I'm just going to read it because I, I, otherwise I forget. Lori, what's your last name? Antonacci. Antonacci. Are you Italian? Yes. That's a beautiful <laughs> last name. Thank Lori you. Antonacci. Um, Lori is a Reiki master practitioner, a teacher, a certified, how do you say that? Reiki? Can, no, well, it's a certain type of Reiki. Master practitioner as well as a nationally certified hyp hypnotist yes. practitioner. A past, we're going to have a good conversation yes. about that. My father used to do hypnotize. Oh, okay. My father used to hypnotize people. Um, a, a, a past life recall practitioner and a guided meditation instructor specialized in angel connections. So, um, and... Judy, share with our audience how we found Lori, because that's, and this is the God story, I think. That, that well, I was visiting my attorney, <clears throat> excuse me, I was visiting my attorney, and Lori is the paralegal there, and we started talking, and when I found out her whole background, well, uh -huh. of course, I had to invite her <laughs> to the show, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so, Lori, you, you, let, let's go back to the beginning, you shared with me a few minutes ago which I had no idea mm -hmm. that you had a car accident yes back so in was that was that the enlightenment for you was that um, what not particularly at that point in time it was several years later when it struggled mm -hmm. with you know headaches dizziness um, back pain all of these things that I went for different you know treatments and I just never felt 
good. Whole. You know, I, I got better, right. but there was just, there was something missing. Right. So, right. Um, I just want to share something with you. Yes. Just every once in a while to look that way because the cameras are there. Okay. Because I don't want them to be looking at your, okay. your, your side because okay. you're beautiful. Thank you. So, I just want to, <laughs> I had to tell my mother that too. She's oh, on the show. Yes. <laughs> I'll keep looking. I said, Mom, look that way. <laughs> I need another one over there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Jim, that would Jim. be good. <laughs> one day you could put one over there. Okay, well, thank you, Lori. Sure. <laughs> she was in. She was, you know, part of the uh, uh, in the uh, industry, right? You yes. Were in the industry? Way back when. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so what? When? What kind of a car accident was it? Um, I was stopped at a light, and it was a hit and rear, and I just saw it coming, and kind of, you know, it was slow motion and braced, and you're thinking, am I going to survive this? Mm. You know, in those couple of seconds, your life um, passed before your eyes. Yeah. That's and then what they I felt the impact, and first thing you think is, "Am I okay? Am I paralyzed?" Um, uh. You know, I had hit my head, and then everything happens, and and it's wonderful too. All the people that come, and you know, they're so caring, and and just get you out of there and the trip on the ambulance wasn't fun because you know you're laying on a stretcher and I'm thinking oh what if I throw up as I'm laying uh, here you know everything's traveling around you and right. you're laying flat and it's you know it's yeah. not a position yeah. that yeah yeah I get it I was hit by a car um three about three and a half years ago and um and he was coming around the corner, and I didn't see him or anything because he was he must have been coming fast. It was I in the parking know. lot. It was in the parking lot. I was walking, mm -hmm. and he hit me, and that was, oh. and I was, I was like, what just happened? Right. Like, did you see the car? I mean, how did you know you were going to be hit? Like, did the car? I had nowhere to go, so I just stopped. Well, and it was, was daylight car, savings was time. Was the car zooming? He was going pretty fast. And you yeah. saw him in the rear view yeah. mirror. And I'm thinking, is he going to stop? And he didn't, you know, and he was looking at his radio. So it's easy to get distracted and it happens, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what was the first... Um, were you always sensitive to your intuition, to yes. your sixth sense? Absolutely. But yeah. I never really understood it, you know. So um, I had a lot of different people that uh, was in that field that would say, oh, you have a gift, and I'd be like, okay. Yeah, what is it like? <laughs> right. What do, what, do, what do I do with it? Like, right. what what do we? What is it? Yeah. And a lot of people, I think, um, when you're not enlightened for that and you have no knowledge of it, it sounds kind of like hokey pokey. Right. You know. So I just. It's said, a compliment, but you don't know what it means. Right. Exactly. And you, you know, I don't know if I necessarily even believed it then. You'd right. hear it from people, and I'd say, okay, that's good. I have a gift, and you kind of knew it. Right. You know, right. but. Um, Again, I didn't know what to do with it, so I just kind of stayed dormant until I felt I always had connections with angels. Right. Um, and then one day it was, it was just I woke up and and I said, oh, what you know, what is this? I'm gonna look into it. And it wasn't even that it was presented to me; it was just kind of an intuition. Yeah, exactly. I had that feeling. Wow. Also. Wow. Google, and then I yeah. googled and I said, I'm yeah. gonna do this. Yeah. Yeah, but everything leads up to a point. You have to experience everything in your life to. Absolutely, I wasn't getting, ready then, yes. even though I wish I was. Yes. it's life changing. Yes, but yes. Um, yes. So why is it life changing? What did it What did it do do in your life that made a difference? Um, well, first of all, I could say that I cope with things differently. Um, being more appreciative, um, and just an overall feeling better, and knowing when I have an bunch of beautiful wonderful clients I really do um, that again I feel have been brought to me right. um, so when someone comes to me and they're suffering with something whether it be an illness or just um, a depression anxiety and then I can see after working with them for a period of time the impact and oh then, you're talking about I'm not I'm not your you're not your paralegal you're talking about your her other, other business. Right, right. Yeah. So what is it that you do in your other business? I know I read it's, them, but... Yes. But Give them the, the name, Wellness. Yeah, what's the name? Um, it's Guiding Light Wellness. Ah. Yes. Um, and, um, you know, as you said, I, I do Reiki, I do hypnosis, um, I do past life regressions, because a lot of things, too, are, are deep-rooted, and, and most of the things that we carry with us are in our subconscious. Right. So um, it, it could even be you know, smoking. I've worked with people to quit smoking or a lot of people that come to me um, have anxiety. That right. seems to be my huge thing. And I do guided meditation classes. Right. Um, I run uh, angel classes every month. 
So each month we learn about a different archangel. Um, It's kind of like calling on a friend. You know, different friends you choose for different situations. Right, yes. So um, these angels are basically just that. They're there and they're always there. Yes. And I love that when I teach a class and people, you know, they'll just simply, you know, go with what I'm telling them, try this, try that, and then I get the text messages. Yeah, uh, yes. Blown away, yeah. Yeah. you know, <laughs> or this happened, or um, during classes afterwards, people, when we do the meditation, because you're allowing your your logical mind to relax. Right. And, and you're then, opening your mind, too. Absolutely. Right. And you're connecting to your higher self. And right, right. That's what I was saying to my stroke family yesterday that I met with, <clears throat> that, you know, being a stroke patient or you know stroke covering I know that we get into this 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 uh, anxiety because we're frustrated because we can't think or process so I tried to tell them the same thing I Mm -hmm. tried to tell them to take a step back and to really allow themselves to work through it Mm -hmm. not be so um, so anxious anxious, good word anxious because that doesn't help in the recovery. Exactly. It doesn't help in the recovery. Well, I always like the, the idea, and I'll tell people, that um, you know, if you look at a picture, a painting, and it's on the wall, you get really close to it, it looks like nothing. You know, then when you step back, you say, oh, wow, look, there's a little bridge, and, there's, right. and it makes sense. So that's what I try to teach as well, to look at things as if, you know, from your higher self, as if you're just kind of watching a movie. Because right. sometimes we're too involved and too close to it. And stress can be from the smallest thing. The second you add on one extra thing, and it could be, you know, you could be a CEO of a company, you could be just doing like something, you could be a stay at home mom with your kids. And, and the second, the littlest thing just kind of sets you off because it's it's too much to process right so it's just learning how to cope with that right right and knowing right exactly the tool belt exactly so i gotta have you go i gotta hook you up with leslie she's looking for people to um yes can you hook up yes i will um i'm gonna be calling her tomorrow yeah because she she's looking for people to bring hope to right. to them, but um, and you a can whole talk about the two belt. new area of yes. clients. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, and it's Always in um, Great Neck. It's, it's in, in Great Neck. I don't know. I know Manhasset. Maybe yes, Manhasset. 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 Okay. So all right. So so you took. I I always <laughs> pray to Archangel Raphael. Okay. He's the healing. Yes, he Tell is. us a little bit about Archangel Raphael. Um, okay, I love Archangel <laughs> Raphael. Yes, me too. Um, he, a lot of times when I'm doing meditations or if I'm doing Reiki, I always call in the angels. Um, so I invite them in to join our circle of love and of light. Everything's always done in the gentlest of ways. Um, Archangel Raphael is uh, his color. Each angel green. has, yep, each angel has a color. Um, so he's green. So a lot of times I'll tell people, before they go to sleep, call him in, and it's simple. You know, you can have discussions with him, just Archangel, you know, Raphael, please be with me right now. And then just imagine his green emerald healing light in any area of your body um, for whatever. And, and, and it's not just physical, because angels are there emotionally and mentally to help us. Right. And it, the key to being healthy is definitely balance. So it's, you know, you could have somebody who's at the gym every single day and eating healthy and that's great, but now where's your spiritual side and where are you mentally? So if it's an imbalance and it's too much in one area, then you're still creating, you know, deficits right, in right, your life. Right, so um, so right. I'll, I'll call him in and, um, you know, ask for the healing again, body, mind, and soul in any areas. And the only thing that angels always want is just a simple thank you at the end. Right. You know, right. that's it. Gratitude. That's Gratitude is so you important. And, yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, Montel Williams just had a stroke. Okay. Um, and why I say that is because he said, like, he was on Good Morning America, and he said that he would go to the gym every day. He wanted to be this fit. Where was he when he had a stroke? In the gym. In the gym, oh, wow. and but the point was that he was so dedicated. Talking about balance, exactly. he was. He wanted to be in perfect shape, and he looks so healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He yeah. Because looks. he has another um, illness as well. 
what is it, Jim? MS. MS? Yes. Oh, I MS. didn't know that. So, you know, he probably was trying to combat the, the MS Absolutely. with the physical, the, the gym. But the point is that he didn't, he needs to balance his right. life. He needs to love, not not be so hard on himself to, exactly. to drive himself and in the gym. And he was very stressed. Was he stressed? I, I can't say. I, I have no idea because I don't know him personally. But when he, when he was in tears when he was on Good Morning America, because this mm-hmm. joke came out of, like, the blue. Right. Which it does. Most it does. times it does. It does. Exactly. It comes out of the blue. It's a shock. Have you ever dealt with stroke patients? I have. Patients? Yeah. I, I've, I've been fortunate enough to deal from children to adults in all aspects. So I have dealt with people with strokes. And, you know, just like with any condition, um, it's upsetting when someone comes in there in so much pain or right. they've gone through something so traumatic. You know, I would never say that um, you know, mental is worse than a physical or physical's worse. It's just how everything, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. hits us. So right. um, I have dealt with people and, um, you know, I've, I've definitely seen in every areas huge improvements. Yeah. You know, yeah. because you do have the ability to heal yourself. And, and, and that's stroke what it's patients about. have to have a positive attitude. Absolutely. And they have to really work at rehab. Right. Because if they don't, they're not going to get better. Right. Well, you they have to can, want to get better. Exactly. And your mind can make or break you. That's yes. like the key thing that... Well, that, um, that controls everything. Even absolutely. even out of the spiritual world, you know, Tony Robbins. Right. You know, the mind is everything. It, it controls, is. it empowers, you know, what you want to do and yes. where you're going yep. and who you are. Right. You know, and, and, and you have to really use that. And but But what I always try to make the general population understand is that when you suffer a stroke, it's a brain attack. Right. So sometimes you don't understand the, the process that you need to to get to. You don't understand that mm. you need to change your, your brain. Exactly. You know, so that's where you allow the spirituality to come in. Right. Because that's always there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. And and you have to um you have to it, my philosophy is that you, you need to be surrounded with love. To be able yes. to allow that healing to happen Absolutely. to you, because what happens is, is it's almost like an onion. You know, you have to. The, you've had this this brain attack, and your 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 brain is scrambled. It needs to be defragmented. Mm-hmm. And how do you get there? You know, um, and very gently, it needs right. to peel back. And that's why onions. it's so important when you go to talk to stroke patients that they see that you've been there and. All you've accomplished. When I remember, and I say this just, I said this yesterday when I was there, and I say this all the time. You know, when I was uh, <clears throat> singing for Sing for Hope in the City, it's an organization mm-hmm. that has these prestigious um, opera singers and Broadway stars go to hospitals and they sing bedside. And um, and I would say to the the order, organize, organizer there, um, you know, I had a stroke. Could you know, if there's someone that had a stroke. Could I stay talk for a while and talk with them? So everybody would leave, and I would literally sit there and just to see in their eyes the fear, mm-hmm. the fear in their eyes. But it, when you leave, they have hope. It, sometimes yes, sometimes no. But what what is good is if there's a family member there mm-hmm. that I could let the family members there know. There is hope. There is hope. Exactly. So and this is how you have to process and deal with And we know with so life. many people who have recovered from, you know, really bad strokes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And yes. you wouldn't know, looking at them, that they right. have. Yeah. So, Lori, let's talk about Reiki. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, tell our audience what Reiki is and how you utilize it. Um, basically, Reiki is Japanese. Um, if, it, if you wanted to translate it, Ray is universal and key is life force energy. Mm. So everyone has this. Yes. Everything that's alive, animals, humans, plants, it's in all of us. Um, when our key or energy is high, we feel good, um, we feel positive, we feel healthy, we're happy. When it's low at that point, you know, obviously the opposite. Unfortunately, um, if people are tired, they're run down, depressed. Um, and you are who you hang around with. Definitely. You are where you, you allow yourself to be in an yes. environment 
that doesn't feel right to you. Exactly, and there's your intuition stepping in. Right. You know, they always say, um, oh, I had this gut feeling. Well, because it actually is connected right. to your stomach. So you intuitively know that a situation isn't good. Unfortunately, our society um, doesn't really run with that. You know, we you try to be polite, but it's not the place you should be. Right, and then you need to listen to that. You need to open up to that and learn that if your own intuition is telling you, you know, this job isn't right for me, this person, it, not it's a good toxic. fit, exactly. And we most of the times when you look back, you say, I knew that. Yeah. But you yeah. just, you dismissed it. Yeah. So it's important yeah. to listen to your own inner. And you know what I've learned is when you make that definitive decision, not a wishy-washy decision, when you right. make that definitive decision and stand in that decision and, and close the door, mm -hmm. so many other doors open up. Absolutely. But you have to close that door <laughs> yes, before... Right other doors will open up. That's true. And I'm huge on affirmations. The two most powerful words I feel is I am. And I always tell my clients, students, the morning when you're showering, going to work, um, just go through the alphabet. Yeah. You know, I am strong. I am yeah. healthy. Yeah. I am beautiful. And especially say these things out loud because subconsciously you're hearing it. Right. In the opposite side of that, go call your friend and complain. And subconsciously, you're hearing, I don't feel good. I don't like this. I don't right. like that. And now you're surrounding yourself. Now you're going to have a negative day. Absolutely. And you're right. going to manifest what you're putting out right. to the universe. Right. So if you're being positive, even sometimes I tell, I don't care if you don't feel good. You're going to keep saying you feel right. good. And eventually, <laughs> right. people say, wow, this really works. And it's simple. Yeah. You know, they're simple. Jim, you want to get in on this conversation? Because you're very positive. I am. Um... I try and stay positive because if you don't, then you're done. You know, it's kind of like your whole life. You know, as soon as you, as soon as you snap into that negative mode, you, it's hard to get out. And you know. Jim has Lori. Jim has um, a spinal cord, right? Tell Lori what you what your. I had a um a spinal cord injury. I had bone spurs that grew into my spinal Ooh. cord. Okay. They were removed. Everything was okay. During my healing time, my spinal cord inflamed, and it actually stuck to my oh. vertebrae. So I had to get it off. So I have a lot of nerve damage. Right. So you know, it's I have pretty much dam I have pretty much pain from my neck down. But you twenty four seven. But, but you Lori never know looking that. at him. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just saying, like maybe this is another wink from God because last. I called the doctor from last week. Yes. So maybe you need to call Lori too. <laughs> maybe. Because you need to attack it from all avenues. Yeah. Yep. So that she could help you spiritually heal because right. it does work. It does work, and you know what? Maybe that's why these doctors are not, not the doctor we had last week because he right. was incredible. Right. He yep. really, he's a good guy. He, yes, yes, but but he looks like he's like twenty two years. Yes, like, he mean, looks so he's a young. Doctor. And he's been a doctor <laughs> for like eight eight years, I think. He's a neurosurgeon. So he's got to be in his thirties. Wow. Yeah. yeah, he looks so young. <laughs> so yeah, but Lori, Lori, what would you do for Jim? What would what would what you would you know? The thing is, too, that when I have clients that come, I couldn't even tell you before they come in yes, you have what to, I'm going to do. Yes. Because I just, right. you know, I do whatever I'm brought to do at that yes, moment. Yes. And um, again, I, I'm a facilitator, so right. he's doing the healing. Right. And right. I'm just kind of guiding it, guiding it along. Yes. So, you know, I, of course, I, I use crystals. Crystals help raise our vibration. Um, we always want to keep our, our, you know, vibration high, and we want to keep our energy high. Um, and you know, if someone comes in, I'll, I'll, I'll always be drawn to certain crystals to use. Right. And um, I think it's kind of fun because I'll play like a little game with myself and right, I'll say, right. "I'm picking this, 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 and this," and I'll yeah. put it, you know, next to someone. And then afterwards, um, and intuitively, I'll, I'll tell them what I'm feeling, or I'll say certain things that I think this or is this going on. Um, I had one client once, uh, I was working on her and I said, oh, I kind of feel like something's wrong with your knee. I pick up a lot of medical things right, for some right. reason. And um, she's like, no, it's fine. I said, okay. Next day, oh, my knee is killing me. I said, I didn't do it. You know, she went to the doctor and she <laughs> right. actually had a, a tear right. and she needed surgery. Right. So um, I guess I kind of sensed it before it Right, her man, body right, realized right, right. what was going on. You were um, forewarning her. That's you know we we always have those wings from God, absolutely, all the time. 
We do. All the we just time. just have to listen yes. and be open to it. That's yes. what I always say, um, that things come to us in signs, you know, just yes. like with the angels. Yes. There's always signs that they bring us. It's just a matter of, do you just walk with, like, blinders on and um, don't recognize these things? Or that's what I really try to teach as well, that once you open this door, it's you never go back. Right. So th that's where, you know, it leads right back to the balance. To, to to balance your life every day in this in, 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 in a, a positive, positive way positive yes. way but also to go into the silence make sure you go into the silence every day whether you call it prayer whether you call it meditation, meditation exactly. whether you call it the silence whether you walk you right. know in, a, in the, there's trails that you can yes. walk that circle to to get your mind oh, what do you free. call that I the forgot. labyrinth yes i couldn't think of the word labyrinth yes. yes yes and when you connect to nature too yes it's yes. grounding yes because they so. say when you take if you go outside and take your shoes off and you stand in the grass exactly that it's yes. it's it's it and they're helps. simple all of these things are so simple it's natural you know when you say tool belt i do the same thing right. with my clients um i don't want them to just rely on me i want to be able to teach them when you leave this is what I want you to do right. you know and I know the ones that are doing it right, or in right. different situations like diaphragmatic breathing for people with anxiety um, you know I'll, so many of my clients now you know they've got all the crystals they bring it with them um, <laughs> it's great you right. know and now I right. know that they're utilizing the things that I'm teaching them and I know firsthand that it's effective and it works right and again just simple little things using your affirmations you know or stepping back from a situation and just taking a moment to breathe and realize yeah. it's not that bad nothing's no. really that bad no what know? is what is um uh, what's his name he does the uh chop uh chapo um oh my gosh <laughs> he does the meditation with oprah um I forget his name. Uh, I went mm -hmm. to meet him. Okay. Um, I don't he, know. He, 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 he just says it's an experience. Like, don't yes. attach yourself to it. Absolutely. No it's, expectations. No, you know, no. I always tell everybody we're, we're here to just relax, not to judge yourself. Right. We're too hard, I think, a lot of times on ourselves. Oh, um, definitely. And, um, I, you know, self-love. Because well, you got to love so yourself before you can love. You know, you're in the airplane. The mask comes down. They always say, put it on first. Yes. Then you help someone else. Yes. And if you haven't gone through things, um, you know, just like your amazing story. That's what's brought you here, and you've affected, I'm sure, so many people. But yes, it, she has. you know what, and like you, it's, I'm only a channel. Exactly. I'm only a channel. Right. I, but I have to realize that it is a second chance, that God is giving me the second chance, and I'm actually writing another book called Extra Inning. It's the extra inning of my I life. I can't wait for it to come out. <laughs> what, 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 is, what am I going to do with that extra inning? Right. What am I going to do with that extra inning? I actually, You're doing it. Well, I am doing it, but I have to always stay aware right. that I have to listen to what it is that I need to do right. as well. You get your signs, yes. you know it, you yeah. wake up one day, oh, I'm going to do this, this is my purpose, and that's yeah. how I felt too. Yeah. You know, I, I, I love the legal fields and it's great, but this is my passion. Yeah. You know? Well, the legal field's your channel as well because you've met so right. many. Yes. Uh, and unfortunately, we do personal injury, we do all different right. type of um, law. And you've got a great boss. I do. Oh, the you're very it's fortunate. It's good. I really That's am. Good. Awesome. Well, I do the same thing to Jim all the time. I said the other day. I mean, I and I was saying like when I'm preparing this show, it's not it's not just okay. Come up with the guest. Right. It really is to pray about it and to Judy does all the setup. But what <laughs> I do, wonderful. <laughs> what I do is I, okay. Where does God want the show to go? Right. And I mean, I've emailed Jim at 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. Okay, Jim, you got to put this on yeah. the photo yeah. because I, I know that the presentation is a whole thing. Yes. Right. Like, okay, I want this on the screen while I'm singing so that they could get the visual. Exactly. You know, so. I know I just, um, ironically too, I just did, uh, we're going to be doing um, Archangel uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. for my Christmas meditation. Yes. So I, I, I write my own things and I wrote it all up and then I said, okay, great. And then it was like, I got my message. No. Oh, it took me all day to write this, so now I'm rewriting it. But again, it, it just it has to be what they want. What they want. What they want. Exactly, and I can't fight with an angel. Yeah. But but the truth <laughs> is, you probably needed to write that other thing to get what you need. Like yes. a, you don't do anything for right. without reason. Absolutely. Everything has a reason why we're doing it. Right. You know. So that's awesome. Yes. That's yeah. awesome. So let's talk about the um, uh, the past life recollection. That yeah, is regression. very interesting. Regression. Yes, it is. Um, you know, 
people that come to me for that come sometimes just for fun. Um, you know, let me find out. I kind of, because the deja vu feeling or connections, um, I'm not Irish. And I literally get so emotional over bagpipes. I didn't wow. grow up with them um, to the point that it just, it hits me so deep. And uh, doing the past life regression, I definitely had a connection with um, castles and, and that whole time frame. And, and I physically could just sense and feel that, you know, with the bagpipes. So some people will come to me and they'll say, I don't know, you know, um, it, this feels so familiar. And, and it is because it's all stored, again, in our subconscious. I, I feel a connection with the 1920s. Yes, yes you do. do. I feel a very do. strong connection with it. And nobody ever taught me to do the Charleston. I just knew how to do it. it. And when I hear 20s music, I could be in the middle of a street. Wow. And I'll just stop everything and start dancing. Yeah. Wow. And that's a complete just, past life. Yeah. Absolutely. I feel a very strong connection to that era. Yeah. Jim, we would do the bag, you get connected to the bag. Yeah, the bagpipes kill me every time. I mean, <laughs> they go right through me, they yes. come out my arms. I mean, it's uh. just like really, I mean, if you ever see on TV, like when light goes into something, then it comes out a little bit. Yes, that's what, yes. That's what it's like when it goes in me. Yeah, exactly. So what is a past life? I mean, um, what, 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 because I know it's subconscious, but I mean, some people don't believe that we've born again, that we're right. on this earth again. Right. So explain to us like, you know, um, where it comes from and how it manifests. Sure. Well, we're all energy. And yes. scientifically, energy never dissipates. Right. So when people say, oh, they've lost somebody, they're still energetically with us. They've right. just transformed. Um, you know, really, all religions, even Catholicism, right. um, believed in past lives. Right. Um, it got to a point with the church at that point that they said, you know what? People are starting to think, well, I'm coming back. <laughs> so what's the difference if yeah. I'm bad? So yeah. they decided, you know what, we're going to um, put a law in that, that, that it's going to go right. against the religion. Um, but when you realize, uh, you know, I've been taught that we sit down with, now I know as I've, I've uh, become more familiar with the angels, um, that we sit down with particularly Archangel Azrael and Archangel um, Metatron. And before we're born, we kind of watch like trailers and we see different lives. Because sometimes people say, life isn't fair. Why did this happen to this four-year-old? Right, we and chose someone, it. You did. And we you chose, chose it. it. And you chose it for um, reasons that maybe you don't understand. You might have chose that life this time that was going to bring you more to enlightenment. Um, so when you, you, being energy, we leave one body. We learn. We're here for lessons. Um, we learn different things, we experience them, and you hope that you leave with the lessons you needed to, right. and you've gotten your past karmic debts kind of paid off, right? and <laughs> you keep moving on to enlightenment. Right. Um, yeah, that, that's one thing that I always try to be aware of, because it's all awareness. It's all yes. being aware of you know the, the the situation of what you should be doing your purpose. What I try to do is when I when something keeps um, coming up to me, I ask like, what is it that I'm supposed to learn from this, and right. and who have I hurt through it, and and pick up and 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 end it, fix it now, fix it now. Um, call them up when you, or they'll come into your life right. for for that particular uh, moment. So I really try to to address it yes. so that I could put it to the past. Right. So and some I people can... struggle with that because it is a past life situation. It keeps carrying over and over and over and they haven't gotten past it. Um, so these are things that, you know, it's healing. Again, some people, you know, it could be fun, but then other people do come to me. Um, right. Like Judy would love it because she'd say, oh my God, I was a flapper. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people literally see things and, and no names. Right. And, you know, and again, it just, it depends upon how open you are to everything and just really sing. Actually, out. this gentleman, I forget who it was, um, or a woman or a gentleman, it was on our show one time. After they had their stroke, they spoke fluent Italian. Yes. Yes, Fluent Italian, that, yes. right? They had no, They never spoke right. Italian in their life. Yep. And all of a sudden, they yeah, a lot of head yeah. trauma injuries um, bring out strokes, other bring out mm -hmm. other things. And and I'd have to say it's it's not just wow that was kind of you know unusual. It is. It's a past life thing. Yeah. So um, I know I know I know why I suffered my stroke. Not suffered my experienced my stroke because um, God was trying to get my attention for many many years for me to work for Him. That's who I work for. I don't work for anybody else on Absolutely. earth. 
I, I experience them, but I don't work. So, <laughs> so, um, but you know, I guess there's different reasons why different people are experience a yes. stroke. You know, and I guess when they come to you, they could kind of work through that and understand it so that they could heal completely. Because you need to let go of things. And I always do that with Reiki or, you know, even if I'm doing hypnosis, it's releasing what no longer serves you. I just did a meditation just recently for the fall and um, we went outside and we did a fire and um, I, I kind of used the analogy of a tree in the fall. It's beautiful. My favorite time of year. And these trees are holding all of these leaves, and now they let, it let go. them go. Right. And it, could you that's imagine beautiful. a tree years and years and years of keeping these yeah. old, yeah, yeah, ugly yeah, yeah. leaves? That's what and they can do. Branches yes. and that's awesome. So different seasons are, are meant for different reasons. So you need that. Like you it's a beautiful way of thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, you know? Jim. You know, we need to do the commercial, um, and we'll come back and we'll talk about the. Um, the uh, hypnosis next because that's very okay. interesting yes. that really okay. um it's really awesome my father hypnotized me one time i don't remember <laughs> what he was hypnotizing me for but he used to bring people in clean your room in, <laughs> but he, i remember he used to hypnotize people with this coin oh, and okay. the coin was just something for them to focus on right right it's not really no. what they needed to do anyway so um, you know, for this past month, we've had um, this wonderful sponsor who you would love. You would love Jan. Um, Jan is an acupuncture uh, herbalist. Um, she's so dynamic and so inspiring um, to everybody. And, uh, you know, she became part of our family. I forget how we met her. Probably you, Judy. Jasmine was away <laughs> in China. Jasmine. And Jasmine's another uh, acupuncturist and herbalist and who is from and, China as well. And... Um, I cannot remember the person who referred us to. Yeah. But Jan, she's wonderful. And so she loved what we were doing so much that she sponsored us oh, for, for the month. Right. So um, so we're going to show her commercial. And then when we come back, we'll do a little bit of, um, we'll talk about the hypnosis. Uh, and we can't believe we're working on almost an oh hour God. already because, you know, we have so much. So Lori will have to come back. She's one of our family now. <laughs> And um, so let's run that commercial to so that you could see what an inspiring person um, uh, Jazz um, Jan is. Hello, everyone. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Yan Zhang. I come from China. I am New York licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. I specialized in men's health issue, women's health issue, after stroke syndrome, pediatric diseases and pain management. Acupuncture and the Chinese herbs are amazing. It's been in China for thousands of years and it helped tons of people out in different situations. My job is very simple. I try to relieve your pain, help you out and improve your health. I can treat a little bit everything from weight loss, facial rejuvenation, spondylitis, immune system diseases, uh, ADHD, autism, mental disorder, uh, all kinds of pain, stroke and aphasia. When I was partnering with Rene Marais Language of Love Foundation, I also think it's amazing work they are doing because they let more people get to know acupuncture and Chinese herbs. I think education is very, very important. Not only in school, but also the whole world needs to know how to prevent and how to treat the stroke. And the patient will lie on the bed, and we have the beautiful music. They can help the patient re- relax. And this is all kinds of needles. We have different gauges different sizes from 0.5 ton to 3 ton according to different so situation that can, can help patients relax during the treatment and also it can improve the treatment function. So we have uh, we have hundreds of different kinds of herbs. According to the symptom we will prescribe you different formulas. So we will put uh, different kinds of herbs together to make your own formula. It's very easy to drink. Just 
like a tea bag. You can tear the bag and put all the granules into the hot water, dissolve it and drink it, just like tea bag. It's very Once simple. Once a day, one bag at a time. And according to different symptoms, like common cold, you can see the difference right away. Like a chronic disease, it may take a while, like several days to one week to get effect, effective. So, Jen, I had a stroke over eight years ago, and I had aphasia. It's pretty good now, but I'd love to make it better. Mm -hmm. How could you help? I would use scalp needle because, you know, certain area of the brain is can control the language. You have aphasia. Some people, they cannot even talk. Actually, oh. you're in a good situation right now. And because I can, I can tell that you can speak fluently, mm -hmm. some patients, they cannot. I wasn't able to originally. Oh, OK. Yeah. So I can use acupuncture to mm -hmm. uh, put in the certain area of the scalp. And it can help you to improve the language, the speaking. I have a question. You can call me three four seven nine two five six nine nine five, or you can great. go to my website yyacupuncture.com to make appointment. That sounds great. Thank and, you. And expect a call from me. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs>
that was kind of simple, but sometimes it's it's just clouded, and you yeah. don't realize it. Well, s- people always look for the big things. I mean, right. you know, and you might overlook. Yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. factor yeah. that. Right. Yeah, because you know, like I was saying before, I my father used to take this this coin, and just hypnotize people. But I actually went for hypnoto- hypnosis right. with um uh, with the woman that I worked did Silva with. Okay. She does hypnosis as well, and I like you said just laid in a chair right. she asked me an enormous amount of questions yes. prior so right. that she knew where to take where to, it. Exactly. what direction that's to what go I do in. too right. you really just don't hypnotize someone and it's not the same for everybody right she right. needs to get to the root right. of it and what's you know and then we come up with I always work with them um, that's going to be like their key phrase something and I don't do it I right. can come up with a sentence but we come up with something simple and that resonates with them. And then that's their key. And then after the session, I always email them. And then they have that. And I'm like, now you need to do your work. Right, right. And you, <laughs> right, you, listen, right. you keep listening to it. Right, but that's that's the key. Absolutely. The key is that, and this is what I said at the stroke support group yesterday. I said, you know, as much as, you know, we as stroke patients and everybody right. wants to have help from everybody, we need to do the work. Yes. We can't. We can't expect other people to do. We have to do it, and yes. it's hard. It's it hard, hard work. It is hard. It's hard work. Right, because I'll, I'll tell people if, if it's smoking, let's say. You know, we also try and cut out different things that are causing it. So um, if one person said to me once, well, I always kind of at this time, I go, I get my coffee, I sit in my sunroom, I go on my computer, I'm like, stop it. You know, just stop that and eliminate what's kind of, you know, aiding right. in what you're doing in that right. it, go for a walk then yeah. or then that's a perfect time to listen to the audio or right. if, if it's weight loss oh I kind of feel like I don't, I'm not really hungry but night I just can pound down you know four right. boxes right. of cookies right. and, oh and my God. three bags right. of chips right. and I'm not even hungry right. well maybe at that time that's a good time to do something else break right. that habit right. that's but really you have is. to break the habit right. you're the one that, and when I've learned also in my life two things that don't do things the same way if it's not working, right, you need to change it. Yeah. Even if it's you know, uh, you know, you get up usually on the right side of the bed. Get up on the left side of the bed. <laughs> no, like well, some, that might be a simple. little impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, climb over, climb Angel. over. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like things so simple that shift your life, that yes. shift it. You right. need to shift what's happening in your in your life. I agree. Um, I forget what the other the other one was. I just have to add that if you're in a hotel and you're used to sleeping on, let's say, the left side of the bed, and now you're sleeping on the right side of the bed, there's like, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you notice that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> or well, take you know different ways home if a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. McDonald's is my problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me, okay, yeah, yeah. put it in your GPS to your house. Don't go off the road yeah. to stop there. You know, it's, it's again, it's a lot of very simple things that you can do to change things. Right. You know, some people think, oh, I have to do such monumental things in my life to make change. And right. It doesn't, because that's overwhelming. Right, right. When, it, that's it. It doesn't have to be so so big. It doesn't, right. you could grow step, a bit, by, step, step by step, step by step, step by step. And that's practical. Baby right. steps. And it's something that's actually going to remain with you. Right. When you think that, oh, I'm changing everything tomorrow. No, you're not. You're right. not. You right. take you know, baby steps. Right. Do it and a the little other, at the a time. the other thing is that you have to trust. Right. Trust is a big thing. Huge. He, very huge. I mean, I even have, you know, had to recover from trust um, issues, right. you know, um, and I've learned that I have to trust myself, trust my own intuitions. Yes. That doesn't mean that I'm always right, um, but sometimes, like you know, Domina Cordalesa, you oh. know, you, you have to, you have to, you know, you have to talk to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Well, do you think this is right, or you know, how does that sound? And and you know, to to right. try to manifest and create what it is that you want to do in your life, exactly. you know? And then the other thing I was thinking before was um, if you want to manifest something to happen, start making it, start doing it. Yes. Right? Right. Well, what you're putting out into the universe is what you're going to get back. So if you know that I'm worthy of this and I can do this, again, all just being positive, it happens. Right. You know, if you are doubting yourself or procrastinating about it, just do it. Yeah. You know, you what you want will come to you. Yeah, it really will. Yeah. It's just what you put your mind to, you can achieve. You can, you can. Wow, 
so we only have a few more minutes because we want to sing because <laughs> we love to sing um but Lori, you know first of all we want to invite you back because Thank you, you. We, we have a lot of back. a lot of a lot of important information and that judy was right that you know we connected because you know we we're all on the same page yes. about bringing light to people <laughs> right you know that's what it's about we want to help people to understand you know um but can you provide your contact information yes, and certainly. your website if you have yes, a website? I do. I do. Um, it's Guiding Light Wellness, www.guidinglightwellness.com, um, so they can find me on the web. I also have a Facebook page. Um, do you want me to give the Whatever you number? want to give. Whatever, Whatever you want to give. 631-804-8364. Say it one more time. <laughs> 631 631- Eight zero four eight three six four. Well, the gift with this is they can always stop play it, it back. play it back. That's, yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're all over the place. So um, yes. my arm is hurting me today. Um, so, you know, before did I hear that your father suffered a stroke? He did. He suffered a stroke. Yeah, that was back in 96, unfortunately, before. He always had issues. Um, You're going to have to come back. Yeah, we're going to have to discuss yes. your father's stroke. Yes. Yeah, and we'd love to invite you to be part of the telethon, too. Definitely. Yes, That's on May 5th. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Mark your calendar. Right here. <laughs> right here at Village Connection Studio. Excellent. It's uh, pretty awesome. Um, Miss Connecticut is going to be a part of it. She, she oh, okay. her platform was to have uh, strokes. It was a friend of hers suffered a stroke, and she really didn't know the signs of it. She wanted to bring right. awareness to it. So it's it's pretty awesome. Very it's going to be a very, a really good, you know, you a regular. very powerful, <laughs> very powerful, uplifting we'll show. Yeah, yeah. What's that? So we'll be carpooling. We, we all have to come to my house. Yeah, yeah. So yes. Judy, you're too far. <laughs> You're okay. too far. You know, Why well, you don't you don't drive? No, no I do. Just, oh. Yeah, she'll carpool to me. And oh, because right. okay. so she, she said I'd be a regular. So. Oh yes. Okay, <laughs> I, I missed that part. <laughs> so um, all right. So we're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna sing because music is praying twice, and it gets you into that 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 mode that people need to stay in yeah. when you're when you're in a um when you're in a happy mode i mean music is everything music music is is joyful it's sad it's memories it's it's love it's it's everything so i really want to um you know make sure that we always sing so we're going to come right back and we're going to move over to the stage area and we're going to sing some songs we'll be right back <laughs> Got me good in a hope that I just can't diffuse But I know all oh, 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 the tricks up your sleeve Cause you, you and I used to sing just to pass by the time And I can't let go oh, 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 without a thought to thought to where a song may flow some ring away, but the echo of yours seem to stay. And lately, when I listen close, what I hear may be fake. So you be real now, and I'll be honest. That what we've got here is truly harmonic. And I can search, search, search just to hear the same sound play. But why would I? Standing here right in front of me Truly harmonic oh, You've got me good It's a concept I just can't refuse But you had to see through What seems without flaw So you, you may say That the sound of more vows wrong away Maybe it's true So when this sound leaves my ear I can't help but to sing it again Hope that if I sing it out Maybe you'll comprehend I've been around now And all is silent What we've got here Is truly harmonic 
appear It's all, all along I'll admit that it's all just a song But maybe it's my war that's singing to me Just if the sound of our music stops playing Cause maybe the next time around things won't be the same Without exchange So you be real now And I'll be honest That what we've got here is truly my money Truly harmonic Welcome back to Renee Marie Stroke of Luck. Thank you for joining us today. It really was my type of show where we talk about enlightenment and we talk about life and and uh, we lift ourselves to another level because that's really where we need to stay. But how we get there is what the show is about. So it really was a great show. Thank you so much, Lori. Um, I'm going to sing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas because it's my favorite um song christmas song next week we're having a christmas show we're having a party here at the studio uh, so please join us get your 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 food out and your drinks and um and everybody you know we're gonna have a lot of people in the studio i hope you don't mind jim maybe about 15 um about 35 <laughs> and um and we're gonna sing some so it's gonna be a rocking show celebrate life so um Anyway, so then we're going to come on and sing Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. So we lift our voices a little bit. So I'm ready to sing, Jim. Listen to Christmas past is past Christmas presents are here to stay Bringing joy that will last Have yourself a merry little Christmas let your heart be light From now on our troubles will be out of sight Have yourself a merry little Christmas let the Yuletide gay From now on Our troubles will be miles away Here we are As in olden days Happy golden days Us. 
will be together If the fates allow Hang a shining star upon the high Yes, bell And have your favorite Christmas song. Come on, ladies, we're going to sing. I love that song. It talks about the faith. And you know what? I didn't even connect the dots with that song until I was just singing it. Right? Really? Right? Yeah, Doesn't that? Yeah. So that's just a sign that God provided me to play that song today. So it works it works so sure does. thank you for joining us thank today you. Lauren. it was a pleasure and we look forward to you being back and to talk about your father's stroke yes. which is yes. really it's my honor to be here oh, thank, thank you for you. having you're me. very welcome you're very welcome so we're gonna roll on out thank you jim i got you know i have to remember to put this up a little bit is this on yeah okay okay we're live. We we don't worry about those little things in life. We <laughs> yeah. just we go with the flow, and you know the all the angels are the angels around us right now. Always. Who's here? Is who's here? Uh, probably Archangel Jophia. Jophia. She's the angel of beauty. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so hoping that we sing beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When you sing from your heart, it's always beautiful. it always sounds beautiful. Yes. It always sounds beautiful. Uh, Jim said we have to hold on, but it's okay. You don't. I don't think she doesn't want that. Uh, you no, want the mic? I don't want the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> She'll just gonna. She's gonna. I'll be like the background oh. singer. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, thank you so much for joining us. Please join us next week at a holiday party or celebration for life. Um, thank you to Jim. Thank you to everybody for being a part of our viewers and. And, uh, you know, thank you to God and the angels around us for allowing us to do this work um, because we're gifted. My, my last line in my book is life is a gift. Yeah, life sure is. is a gift. So we always have to remember that. So let's go, Jim. You're going to join us in singing, rocking around the Christmas tree? <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> let's go. This is a fun song. Yeah. I like fun songs. Rocking around. No, it's not on yet. <laughs> Come on. It's got a long intro. It's it's good. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hall. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Lena will have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear.
voices singing, let's be jolly down the halls with boughs of holly rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in a new old fashioned way. Let's sing. Let's, let's rock. Come on. as you can. Here we go. You gotta remember we have to blow our kisses. Sometimes I get so lost in the music that it's like, I have to go. Here we go. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing, let's be jolly duck. The halls with boughs of holly rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in a new old fashioned way. Let's blow our kisses. Bye, everyone. See you next week. Bye.
last dance Just wait. 